Hey, what's going on everyone? So, I bit the bullet, finally acquired, oh man, the Pentax HD DA55300 ED uh, WRPLM. Yeah, I know it's a really long name, but I finally got it. I've done some uh, quick tests with it. Um, after, we're, after I finished all the testing, of course, that's when I realized I should have checked the autofocus. Oh. Yeah, it did actually need to be adjusted to plus five. However, even without it being adjusted, I did get some really good shots. And I'm honestly blown away by that lens. I have used the uh, older uh, HD DA55300 WR, the screwdriver one. Um, I did use that one. And I'm going to be doing another video comparing the two side by side. Uh, but for now, uh, just a quick preliminary overview of my thoughts on the PLM version of the DA55300. And yeah, it's a phenomenal lens. It's absolutely silent. Absolutely silent. Like SDM is silent, but you can hear the clicking of the motor or the ring drive, sorry. This one, you hear absolutely nothing. It's really freaky. Um, and that lens, it's it seems to be built like a tank. Like there is nothing that moves on that lens. Like there's no flex. Uh, you know, it's apparently plastic, but whatever kind of plastic they used, it's some hardened something or other. Uh, it actually looks like it's magnesium. It's really, really weird. It's got this different finish on it. Even the lens cap uh, at first, or sorry, not the lens cap, the uh, lens hood. I thought that it was metal. Um, but then I noticed that it actually does flex, so it is plastic. But the finish on it, yeah, th this is... Every once in a while, a company makes something, and they made it too good. And then they realize they made it too good. But then it's too late. I think this is one of those things. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so here's my overview of the PLM version of the DA55300WR. So here it is, mounted to my K3. Now you'll notice that sounds like sounds like it would be some kind of metallic thing. However, whoops. However, when it's off, I actually see that it does flex. So it is plastic, but it's some hardened something I don't know if you can see that finish on there like it's like a rough texture finish it actually like it looks like it would be magnesium but it's actually not and the lens itself and there's absolutely no flex anywhere focus ring zoom ring nothing I keep knocking over my own camera or my own phone. Let's see if I can figure out a way to stabilize this. That'd be that would be good. There. All right. It it, it is a solid 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 lens. Uh I don't know what else to say, um, except for the fact that, well, the one thing I don't like about it uh, is the whole retractable thing. That's the only thing I don't like. You have to press this button right here, you know, because when you actually do turn it on and it's retracted, it actually warns you that, oh no, shutter release is disabled. Ensure the zooming index on the lens is set to a position that permits shutter release. Why they do it that way, I don't know, but... Uh, it is what it is. So that's for when you're storing it, and that's when it's ready to shoot. Anyway, I don't know. It was their decision. I don't think it was the greatest idea, but whatever. Uh, anyway, what means the most is the photos. And one thing I did notice, actually, is the light transmission on this lens is phenomenal. 
even though it is uh, half a stop uh, stop down in regards to aperture compared to the original 55-300 WR, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Um, so even though this is a 4.5 to 6.3, it doesn't really behave as a 4.5 to 6.3 actually would. Um, and I think it makes up for it as well with the rounded aperture blades, nine blade rounded aperture. Um, so the out of focus area, the bulk, everything, it's, just, it's absolutely creamy, it's beautiful. Um, and the depth of focus um, is very, very thin. So that also helps a lot in regards to having a stop down aperture or I guess uh, uh, not having a stop down aperture. I'm, I'm lost for words, man. I'm just so excited about this lens. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, it overcomes the fact that there's a stop down aperture uh, with the depth of focus. But uh, yeah, so let's just get into the images and uh, I'll show you what it can do. Mm -hmm. 